Hey everybody, Chad here from Far Beyond Snoopy, and it's time for another snack review. Yes, another FBS Eats episode. That's a lot of what I do. I, I just realized that, like, most of what I review here is probably this and then shoes. So, I'm trying not to let this become a, a, a snack channel, but it's just mainly what I've been interested in lately, so mainly that's what, I, what I'll be reviewing. So, just letting you guys know. So today we're talking about a, uh, a Red Vines uh, product. This is uh, Red Vines Made Simple. This is a product of the American Licorice Company. Okay, so when I talk licorice, I know I've got an, an audience in Europe as well. On my other channel, I primarily review like a lot of Scandinavian type of stuff, culture and products and whatnot. So licorice products like Red Vines and Twizzlers aren't really licorice. I mean, licorice to me is salty black licorice, and I love that stuff. Me and my wife eat it all the time. I may do some reviews of that on this channel as well, but, but, Red Vines are a guilty pleasure of mine. So Red Vines, there's the enduring battle about Red Vines versus Twizzlers. Twizzlers technically came first, 1929, Red Vines came next, 1952. Uh, but the eternal battle is, which is better? I mean, to me, I contend that Red Vines are better, so does Walter, but I think, uh, Twizzlers are good, I just like Red Vines more. So I was at Whole Foods recently, and I had never seen these made natural ones before. It's my first time encountering these products, so I figured I, I had to give these a, uh, a try. If you want to check out the nutrition, there you go, you can pause that if you'd like to. But as far as the uh, description for this one goes, it says, Try Red Vines Made Simple Fruit Licorice Candy Twists and Delicious Mixed Berry Flavor. Friends and loved ones will surely enjoy this fruity red licorice made with real cane sugar. So again, I purchased this one from Whole Foods. Uh, it was $1.99 for the package. Um, this is a, a, a four ounce package or 113 grams. Now, what's different about this one um, from their website? It says it's non-GMO, um, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors. So there you go. All right, I'm gonna open this up. So there you go. Uh, red vines are in a, a little tray there. They do look like regular red vines, so. Don't really notice much of a difference there. What I like about Red Vines is that to me they feel softer than Twizzlers. I mean, they're they're much they're I don't know they just feel like a softer texture, and I like the flavor better. I mean maybe that's just me, but these are ones that I I like the flavor better on. So these are said to be mixed berry. Yeah, I get the uh, like the strawberry cherry that I usually notice from Red Vines. Smells really good. Not overly sweet, which is one of the reasons I like these. Okay, let's uh, let's consume a red vine. Okay, so a couple things. One, what I like about red vines, they don't get stuck in your teeth as much as I notice with Twizzlers. It's one advantage to me. Um, another thing is that these are, they're very soft. Now licorice is gonna be chewy. Um, but these are these are soft. They have a good texture to them. They're not too chewy. I mean, I, I chewed through one in just a matter of, I mean, a minute or less. But they have a really nice flavor to them. Um, again, I mean, they taste like regular red vines. They do have that. To me, it's like a strawberry cherry mix. It's always what I taste with these. Um, it may be a mixed berry. Like on the picture, I see strawberry cherry and like blueberry. I only really taste a lot of blueberry. I mostly taste that like that strawberry cherry mix. The sweetness is not too overdone. I mean, they're sweet because they're candy, obviously, but it's not an overbearing sweetness. But soft, um, easy to eat, nice texture, don't get stuck in the teeth. I mean, buying these over regular red vines, I mean, I don't really, I don't know, I mean, I'll buy the regular red vines because I like that I can get that big bucket of them. So, I mean, I'll, I'll probably just stick to the regular ones. I mean, these are good. I'm glad I got to try them out, but I mean, the whole non-GMO thing doesn't really do anything for me. So it, there's no reason that I would rush out and buy these over my regular ones. But they're good. I mean, they taste like the Red Vines I know and love. If you're a, a Twizzlers fan, I'm uh, I'm sorry. Red Vines are ultimately better. Um, but but ultimately, these aren't something I would buy over my regular ones. Now, if you're into that whole non-GMO thing, by all means, have at it. These are a great snack, delicious flavor. I've loved Red Vines for a very long time. So if the whole non-GMO, all natural sort of thing is, is your uh, speed, definitely grab yourself some of these because they taste great and they're a great snack. But for me, probably just going to stick with the regular ones.
Go ahead and mash that thumbs up button like there's no tomorrow. Leave a comment about how rad this video is. And most importantly, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the bell to find out when we put awesome new videos up. As far as a rating goes, I mean, for, for red vines in general, are two thumbs up all day, every day. I love red vines. I could live on red vines. So red vines are always a two thumbs up. Now, as far as this release, I mean, I'm not really sure where to rate it because I mean, it's, it's red vines, it tastes like red vines. It's a great product. And I always give red vines two thumbs up as far as being anything different from a regular red vines. I mean, I could just go like a thumbs up on this one. So I don't know. We could call it a thumbs up and a half. I'm not going to do that. That's too complicated. I'll just give it a thumbs up. Regular red vines are great. These aren't really that crazy different for me. Um, they're great. Uh, awesome tasting licorice. So I'll give them a thumbs up. Uh, really good stuff. But ultimately, I'll just stick with the regular ones because I can get more of them for less cost and I'm not huge on that whole non-GMO thing. But if that's your cup of tea, by all means, go down to your local Whole Foods or wherever you can find these. Get some. They're a great snack. And uh, ultimately, the best licorice product on the market. Sorry Twizzlers fans, but the universal truth must be spoken. And that universal truth is that Red Vines are ultimately better than Twizzlers. I said what I said. Downvote me. It's okay. I won't get mad. So that wraps up for me guys. As always, thanks for watching another review here on Far Beyond Snoopy, and we'll see you next time.